It's time for the monthly Zion video. I know I did one last month. Flopped. Nobody watched that. It was when they were kind of doing bad. And I did one the month before in a Zion preview video. But let me start this video off by saying, for my great people who were tuning into these videos, you know that I didn't miss not one time because let's just take it back to my initial thoughts about the New Orleans Pelicans going into this season before we get to what's going on right now, what this team is looking like, and what they can really accomplish by the end of this season and going into the playoff with a healthy team potentially, which they really haven't had all year. So before the season, I said about this team, this is one of the most promising teams in the NBA. They have so much momentum coming off of an amazing turnaround where, remember they start the season off last year, they're like 3-15, and 15, it looks like a complete dumpster fire. We don't even know if Zion is talking to any of the team players, management, if he's going to request a trade. There are so many questions. Is he even going to be healthy enough to play NBA basketball consistently? By the end of the year, this team is one of the best stories in the NBA. They lose in the first round as an 8 seed to the Phoenix Suns but there's so much fight there's so much heart you got a coach who you really like who's bringing guys together and the depth on this team is remarkable that 2021 draft class it was a master class these three guys i've talked about it before they're phenomenal and they add so much depth to this team this team legitimately goes 10 plus deep there are guys on this team that do not play that are worthy of getting minutes on a given night that's why brandon ingram Herb Jones, Zion, CJ McCollum, all these guys missed games so far this year, especially Ingram who's missed a ton of time, and the team is virtually unaffected. Seven games in a row now they have won, no Brandon Ingram. This is a guy that, a legit star in the NBA, all-star player, someone who's going to be very important on this team come playoff time, someone I believe is the second best player on a championship team caliber player, he is your Chris Middleton or better, to Zion's Giannis. But we're going to talk about that in a little bit, I just want to get to my initial point like, this was a very exciting team, they have so many great pieces, and adding Zion to the mix is gonna be the big question. And now we think maybe it isn't a question anymore, I think there's still a little bit of time left for it to be a question because Zion and Brandon Ingram, they really haven't played together very much at all because early in the year, Zion missed a few games and Brandon Ingram has missed 11 games this year. So we have not seen this team at full strength and with a player like Zion, he needs the ball in his hands a lot, he needs to play a certain way, We've seen his style of play change over the course of the year. Another point that I had spot on, I said early in the season, first 10, 12, 15 games, this team is going to have some struggles. They're going to be a 500 team early in the year because they're not going to know how to play together. They have so many guys that can do a lot of things in the basketball court and star talent depth but they haven't played with all the pieces together. They got used to playing a certain way last year with Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum as their guys. But when you add Zion Williamson into the mix, He's not the type of guy you can just plug in. I mean, their offense has to be designed around him because he has to be the number one. Because we know as a number one overall pick, a guy that averaged 27 points in his second year, utterly dominant interior force that seriously cannot be stopped at times if he wants to, when he is energized, when he is locked in. We saw this against the Suns recently. This man is terrifying. And I admire Torrey Craig for even trying to take a charge Man, that's gotta be the worst when you try to take a charge on a guy like Zion and you don't get the call. It's like you got hit by a truck for nothing. This team, they needed to get a lot of reps together and they still haven't really done that. They're winning a lot of games with no Brandon Ingram, which a lot of people might think is amazing because imagine what they're gonna be with Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is not too tough of a player, I think, to plug into a team like this. He's going to want his shots, but I don't see him as the type of guy who is going to get bitter about playing more as a complimentary piece. That being said, they just haven't played together yet. And guys like Trey Murphy and Herb Jones are role guys that are more used to playing as catch and shoot guys that don't have to touch the ball very often. CJ McCollum hasn't even played well this year, and they've still got an 18-8 and record. They're still atop the Western Conference. They're still super impressive. And so we're going to talk about in this video, what are the chances of this team being in the finals, winning the West? Do they have a shot? Do they have what it takes? First of all, let's just get this out the way. They have a shot. They have what it takes. They have the pieces. Now, experience is the other thing that they don't have. CJ McCollum has some great playoff experience. Aside from that, this team is really young. They seem to have the right mentality, but everybody on this team is young, their coach is young, they play the right way, 
And there are a couple vets on this team that know the ropes and know how things get into the playoffs. But as a collective, this team has not been together long. This team does not have experience playing in high pressure, high intensity games, especially on the road. A lot of this recent winning streak has been at home. This is a hard place to win. Pelicans are amazing at home so far this year, and certainly being a top seed in the playoffs, it will absolutely help to be at home. If this team finishes the year with the one seed, they won't have to worry that much if they're significantly better at home than on the road. And so the other thing that the Pelicans have been implementing recently, and I told them they needed to do it. I said, we need point Zion. Well, guess what? Zion is handling the rock. He's initiating offense. He's driving to the rim. And guess what? Nobody can guard him. Top five in the league in drives per game during the seven game stretch without Ingram and out of every player with more than 11 drives. There's a lot of them. Check it out. More than 11 drives. Well, he's got the highest field goal percentage, 64.5%, and he's making 5.7. That is the most. By far, he's making the most buckets off drives in the NBA in this stretch. I mean, this guy's not gonna stop. He's not gonna shy away. You could tell last night during that game, this man was gonna run through a wall. It didn't matter what was in front of him, and he's too quick for you to get there and catch him off guard. He's an absolute marvel. And so I think this is a key stat because it illustrates that Zion is getting from the three-point line to the rim, and that has been the Pelican's best source of offense, their most unguardable form of offense, and it makes just the most sense for them to keep playing that way. But can they play this way with Brandon Ingram in the lineup? Yeah, I don't see why not, but that's just not the way it's been so far. It's just about adaptation, getting used to that, and that's what they need the rest of the season for. As many reps as they can get playing their most effective offensive strategies with Zion, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, their best players in the lineup. You take a look at the Western Conference standings, it's super all over the place, and there's no top dog, but there's no room for error. You can't do a four game losing streak right now. The Suns are falling down a little bit, but a lot of these teams are hungry and on the come up. It's gonna be a dog fight between basically this top eight. The Warriors, I think they're on the come up right now and they're gonna be a team to watch for the top four in a few weeks. Memphis Grizzlies, got Jaron Jackson back when Desmond Bain comes back and they're completely whole they're going to be a threat and of course the Nuggets they're going to be in that top four the whole year so I guess my point here is that there's just a lot of competition like we can say it's wide open and it kind of is but like everybody's in the same boat right now just because the Pelicans are in first I mean the Suns were in first like a week ago and a couple nights the Grizzlies could be in first things can change real fast it's about six or seven different teams that could be in first by the end of the year which is crazy it's awesome it's the parody that we need in the NBA and I appreciate that a lot but it just goes to show that you can celebrate the success you're having right now it's got to continue let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Pelicans two games in Utah a game in Phoenix and then you got Milwaukee and then big easy stretch right here you can win all these games two games in Utah it's hard to win in Utah even though they're the better team They'll win, I think, one of those games, but I'd be surprised they win both. And then back in Phoenix, that's going to be a banger game. Got to tune in for that one. You know that rivalry is brewing. The tension is up. Giannis versus Zion. That's going to be a great test to see these guys try to guard each other. Can't miss that one. One thing I will say about this team there, must-see TV. And about them being contenders. Look, I think someone like Zion has the potential to be the number one on a championship team. Can you do it this season? I'm not sold yet. It's so early in the guy's career. He hasn't played that much NBA basketball when you look at other guys in this position, guys that we might consider to be number ones on a championship team. He hasn't even played a playoff game. And you see him play in the regular season, and the way he plays especially, I do love for playoff basketball, high physicality, just athletic specimen, and that's something that can be unleashed, I think, even more in the playoffs because it is a more physical game, and nobody's gonna out-physical Zion. But the Pelicans have a great spirit about them team camaraderie that I think can take them far. They have a lot of different pieces in a lot of different areas. I still don't really know about Jonas Valanciunas. I know he offers rebounding in bulk, which maybe they need to a degree. Doesn't play that much despite being a starter, despite putting up big rebounding numbers, just because he does slow them down. And Larry Nance is the small ball five that can space the floor a little bit better. That's just more mobile and guard more positions. They do have a committee of players for that position and that's fine. But what if you traded Valanciunas for a Miles Turner? Add some shot blocking, a little more mobility on the front line and floor spacing. I think that would benefit a team with Zion just to have more space around him just to give him another option to kick out to because him and Valanciunas at the same time, I'm not in love with that combo and I haven't been. Uh, to start the season i was talking about this so i'm gonna keep stressing that but pelicans have a lot of great stuff going for them that being said if the warriors are around and they will be in full strength i don't know if i can take a team ahead of them and of course the la clippers like you say they probably won't stay healthy and that that is a a valid assumption but 
the LA Clippers are healthy and a threat by the end of the year, I will take them against the field. Like I said, it's a big if, but if that team is playing and that team looks like, like how I thought they'd look before the year, that's my favorite coming out of the West. And then it's the Warriors, and then maybe we can talk about the Pelicans. Like, I think they have the pieces, but I have some questions, and there's a couple teams that I would probably take over them. That's my final conclusion to the video. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, that's all. Peace.